Hello and welcome to yet another podcast by Argumenta. Uh, well, with no introduction stating that, you know, we adduce our arguments and we counter the same. Uh, no introduction at all. This is Joel and I've now come on camera and uh, this is my equipment, the Blue Snowball Mic. So Blue, if you're watching us, uh, do sponsor our podcast. Uh, thank you to my cousin for the mic. Yeah. And... Uh, you know it's just going to be me uh, because my fellow arguments are too scared to come on the mic on the camera and no equipment <laughs> but jokes aside they will be coming soon and and joining the, the next time so uh, as of now we are a team of 3 it's uh, maria minad and myself and uh, it's just us trying to you know uh, talk about certain issues that are very pertinent in our society we try to discuss it through our conversations and and things like that so we do need your feedback and your suggestions as well as to how we can improve on 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 what should we cover as well on various topics so now uh, this podcast is actually in continuation with our previous podcast uh, because uh, we had to chop it off due to the length of the episode and uh, views also <laughs> but joke side uh, without wasting any further time uh, i will be recommending you all a few books and a few uh, a few movies as well and uh, i really felt that since it's speaking about free speech and democracy and you know the religious religious intolerance and hatred and things like that i i really want you guys to really check out this movie called black friday it's it's a, such a hard hitting movie because you know i just watched it a, a, a few days back and uh, it's just too 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 real because it's it's actually based on the uh, 90s uh, bombay bomb blast and it's just tries to cover upon the the religious sentiments the religious intolerance and hatred also and uh, do check it out guys it's um, it's it's a really must watch and uh, it's also got nawaz siddiqui as well so in his earlier days and this is a great movie the way it's shot the the long shots and uh, and the very uh, aspect that i had to cover about and in the end it's a it's a mixture of docu drama and and things like that and in the end you really understand try to contemplate as to are we really living in a society which is very cohesive very, very inclusive of of others opinions and thoughts or are we actually on a communal uh, are we thinking on the lines of a communal hatred or or, or violence and things like that so it's a really good great movie directed by uh, anurag kashyap so do check it out it's one of his earlier movies so the, the rawness you, you, you really get to understand that the kind the kind of cinema which he really strive for uh since you also spoke about the media and journalism in particular and uh if you're not mentioning like if you, like like to mention all the president's men and uh it's such a great movie it stars uh, it's it's actually based on two journalists uh, of the washington post uh, bob woodward and uh, carl bernstein and it's based on the watergate scandal of course and uh, it's just so hard hitting and it teaches you the, the ethics of like it through the movie i really understand the importance of media and journalism in, in particular and uh, as you all know the the entire investigation the the their entire articles and pieces which came out soon led to the uh, resignation of president nixon as well so it's a, it's a really great movie i, I request you all to watch it as well another movie which i like to uh, recommend is good night and good luck and uh, this is a really great movie because uh, it stars uh, josh clooney of course but then it's it, it's a great movie because it tries to uh, portray it, it's based on actually if, if i like i like to say on uh, edward r murrow of uh, cbs and the constant conflict between uh, him him and the us senator joseph mccarthy because those were the times as you know in the us that the anti communist stance and if you guys carry a communist card and things like that but it's a really good movie great movie and uh, uh, it speaks of the media and the power of the media as such and how a person a person really stands up to the government and pressure also so do check it out now uh, this uh, this movie which i wanted to recommend you all is such a great movie because it's not really based on a real life event it's really grounded it's really uh, it's too real to be true because it, it it's a movie called wag the dog you get it wag the dog because it's it stars robert de niro and dustin hoffman and dustin hoffman had uh, who was also in all the president's men and uh, basically the movie is about you know uh, it's during the us elections uh, the the president president uh, election and uh, you know 
the there was a, a sex scandal being uh, in which the president was involved the character who played the president was involved in so in order to divert the attention of the american voters they created a fictional war in a far off uh, country and and you and you all know that's uh, how they were how to really sway the american voters to to vote you speaking of what if in uh, in india and uh, there are some great movies as well with regard to the same and if you're not mentioning uh, jaane bhi do yaar it's just going to be a great scene because it's such a great movie and it's just just way ahead of its times uh, it stars such great veterans uh, in uh, in the in the cinema and and their craft also you had uh, nasiruddin shah you had pankaj kapoor you had sompuri satish shah and nina gupta as well and uh, as you all know it just tried to cover about the uh, bureaucracy and the corruption of those times and the media in particular sensationalism yeah sensationalism and and things like that and uh, as you know, I like to, I just want to wonder that today what do we call as content cinema you know content cinema such, such great movies if you just compare it to that with this movie this movie was made in the 80s such a brilliant movie and uh, I'd like to remind you all that in the 80s you had a, a string of bad films also but then there was the the parallel cinema so as to speak with because they, you had these great actors but then basically they were in movies which were so 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 good and not really commercial in nature but such great performances which they had and uh, if i don't mention the climax uh, uh, there's a really great uh, mahabharat scene which, which has been uh, in, interwoven in the in the movie and and with such a It's, it's it's just too funny also the way it was in, uh, interwoven into the movie as well it's a great movie by uh, kundan shah and i would highly recommend you to watch it it's just too funny but uh, also really hard hitting as, as well because in the end uh, in the end uh, like w- when you just look at the system from the outside as an, as an outsider when you see the system you would be like yeah if you want to correct the system but in the end while correcting the system do we also become a part of the system in the way like what we sought for are we really able to do it in this, do it do it as well so i, I really ask you all to really check out this movie this great movie it's just to, like it also try to cover up on the media and today's media as you're seeing that are we really having are we really having like good ground reports and things like that? or are we just having ac studio anchors really shouting and screaming and and things like that with shouting the, at the top of the voice on the microphone uh, thank god the fan is off so i hope you're able to hear me clearly um, now with regard to a few uh, books especially uh, i would highly recommend you all to check out yeah it's uh, nationalism by uh, ravindranath tagore it's really fascinating as to you know uh, like uh, as to how his uh, idea with regard to nationalism was which we, we did try to cover in our podcast as well so do check it out and try to compare it to today's times on his, uh, and, on, and on his thoughts as well with regard to nationalism it's just a really great uh, good read and uh, also also in the podcast which we did try to cover about the emergency and uh, there was this really good movie uh, book which we had uh, to refer to uh, my kindle has it uh, i just try to like in uh, uh, you know download as much as books as i can and try to get the the reading habit as such because t- as, as late uh, like till recently i wasn't really into uh, reading books as such but then just uh, just in uh, for the podcast or for uh, various conversation and discussions i try to really inculcate the uh, the habit of reading so i happened to look at this uh, have a look at this book this uh, ebook of course ebook uh, which was uh, emergency the emergency of person history by kumi kapoor now it's just such a fascinating uh, book because it just speaks about the emergency and uh, as you all know on how it was just planned uh, as such and um, how the press really succumbed to the emergency and uh, you know you had opposition leaders who were just being arrested and the jail conditions were at, at its worst as well and as the title suggests the emergency a personal history there's also a personal touch to it with regard to the author her life uh, she was part of the uh, indian express which was then headed by the ramnath goenka the ramnath goenka who actually stood up uh, against the emergency and uh, do check it out it'll actually really interest you and uh, 
makes you really want to compare and ask yourselves as to you know has the truest sense of democracy ever really uh, evolved in our time so do check it out it's a really good read and uh, of course i i would uh, re- recommend you all to, to also uh, read uh, arun shori's books as well such a great uh, prolific person a writer and a person he his works especially like the only fatherland and uh, eminent historians their technology their line their fraud and so many other books as well i would highly recommend you all to, to check them check, check them out i will be mentioning all the books and the movies which i tried to cover about in the description below do check in the, uh, check, check them out as well and uh, especially in hindsight as we look at it uh, do we really have free speech in practice and uh, as recently questions are being raised on a publication uh, publications backing out of uh, releasing a book due to certain pressure from from certain groups as well now uh, it makes me want to question as to you know uh, how be the content is the public really rational enough to, to decide as to uh, how true the content is uh, like but then also we need, we need to look at it as india is a land of of many communities and cultures and traditions taking into con- taking into the consideration their ideas and beliefs like uh, some people some people do get offended some people don't like you had several books been uh, censored or banned like you had the satanic verses by salman rasti uh, again again it was back to uh, due to a lot of pressure from certain groups as well and also a lot of movies too uh, as well so like are, is the public really rational enough to ra- rational enough to decide as to how what if the content is true to the true to true sense so yeah and uh, also in the uh, would like to also recommend you another bunch of movies like spotlight the post for uh, on a note i was actually trying to find out this movie called the new delhi express so sorry from uh, the trying to find out this movie called the new delhi times uh, but not sure as to uh, where in which platform is it because it's not available on youtube as of now or another platform as well uh, like it seems to be a very good movie also uh, i hope you all can really, uh, know where it is it uh, directed by ramesha and uh, written by gulzar so and yeah also do uh, check out peeply live and another quite a good kannada movie called the accident directed by shankar nag and it's, it stars uh, shankar nag himself anant nag and also arundhati nag so all the uh, nags but jokes aside this show corruption and you know politicians children on how they uh, on their behavior and and things like that but also in particular to attack on journalists and uh, it's shot in my city bangalore so it's just shot really well as well a great movie again now uh, especially especially since we are speaking about free speech and media trial and and, uh, and how far the public is able to analyze as to what is true and what is not so uh, three of us are actually looking on to several issues that are actually pertinent in our society trying to really uh, look upon them in our further podcast as well so we do understand that um, as you know as you all know we are a, we are a small team but that shouldn't undermine our uh, content as to as you all as you all want the final product and uh, we 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 need to we need to really improve ourselves and, and up our game with regard to our structuring and with regard to uh, on on how we decide on, on how we decide the topics as well so uh, as, as the motive behind Our, our argument over that that we actually discuss and we debate and deliberate and we are trying to share our knowledge and actually discuss and have a great conversation with regard to the same and uh, we may need a few editors if possible because uh, i am the i am the one who is uh, editing and i'm not really good at it so <laughs> just i'm quite no uh, i'm a noob so i did so but any, anyway uh, I, I, we would be looking if possible for editors as well and also we would be possibly looking for more argumenters as well to join in and uh, to the end we actually look forward to your feedback and suggestions as well so do let us know on the comment section or email to us in, in the description uh, or, or just let or just dm us as well as to how we can improve and uh, our and and several other aspects as well and we shouldn't be discouraged as a team by our small success so thank you guys do tune into our podcast regularly also please do share our podcast to your friends family and loved ones 
and also do follow us on Instagram and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, do tune into our podcast on Spotify, Anchor, iTunes, and IGTV. Uh, we need your support and prayer, guys. And uh, thank you so much for tuning into our podcast. <laughs>